Today I'm going to show how to program one of the soft keys on this Kenwood TM281A 2 meter ham radio transceiver uh, so that the radio can be easily put into direct frequency entry mode. Um, so in order to, uh, to do that, first you have to have the uh, DTMF uh, microphone for this particular radio. This, this particular method won't work if you don't have this microphone. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is actually shut the radio off. And then I'm going to push and hold the key that I want to program. And in my case I want to program this PFD key. So I'm going to push and hold that while turning the radio on. Once the radio comes on, the display blinks and shows um, the different options for item number 35, which item number 35 is this particular button. Each one of these buttons has is associated with another number um, in the menu structure. So in order to program the function that you want into that button, um, then it's just a matter of scrolling this tuning knob um, through the different options that are available. And I'm actually going to go back to enter mode, which is the, the direct frequency entry mode, and then hit enter on the menu button. And now uh, that function is written to that key. Okay, so once that's set, once the, the function of that button is set, then I can go into VFO mode and then push this button which then um, puts the radio into frequency entry mode and then I can punch in the frequency I want just using the the numbers on the keypad there. And then now that frequency is is entered in. Um, so that's that's pretty much how you you get the radio to quickly get into Okay, so once that's set, once the, the function of that button is set, then I can go into VFO mode and then push this button, which then um, puts the radio into frequency entry mode, and then I can punch in the frequency I want just using the, the numbers on the keypad there. And then now that frequency is, is entered in. So that's all there is to it, um, and you can use that method to program any one of these buttons here along the right side of the microphone to do um, whatever function that, that's available in that uh, list of options. So hopefully this video was helpful to you in some way. Um, thanks for watching.